Well, we got yet another display of the Ishmaelite Muslims showing their spiritual roots that tie back to Ishmael, who Genesis chapter 16, verse 11 and 12 says is a wild man. And Muhammadan, Muhammadan religion, the Islam religion, is a spirituality of Ishmael. When you get down to it, it spiritually descends from Ishmael. And stuff like this proves that over in uh, the, Dem the Democratic Republic of the Congo, or in this instance, some uh, Mohammedans, some Ishmaelite Muslims, murder over 20 Christians, kidnap several others, and they say it as in Kafir should be killed. Which is, by the way, perfectly in line with what the Quran says about how Muslims are supposed to, you know, go after and enslave the unbelievers, you know, slay the idolaters, which, by the way, they consider born-again Christians polytheists because we believe in the biblical Godhead, you know, the Father, Son, Holy Ghost making one God. So they, they consider that, you know, polytheism, which is rather ironic when you consider the fact uh, that Allah himself, the God of Islam, is an Arabian moon deity, which Muhammad made into the God of Islam, which, you know, who's, who's really the polytheist, but side issue. But in this instance, this is on Jihad Watch. It says, um, it says 20 Congolese Christians were killed and several others kidnapped after the Allied Democratic Forces uh, struck the village in Kanama, hope, hope, hope I'm saying that right, uh, Benai territory in Nord Kivu on the night of October 4th. The Bishop of the Benai Anglican Diocese confirmed the attack, terming it a devastating occurrence that continues to bleed off hope off hope that the Democratic Republic of the Congo has been praying for, unquote. Among the 20 people beheaded was Sobu Mundik, an evangelist with the Anglican Church of Congo, who had traveled to Kenema uh, to look for food for his displaced family in ben Beni. I think I'm saying that right. Uh, one of the first responders to the attack in the early morning of the 5th of October was Venerable Jean Puri, the Archdeacon of Kenema, who reported to, uh, let's go to the other part of the article, says he reported to us uh, says among the 20 people beheaded was Sodu Mundik, the evangelist with the end of the Congo who had traveled for oh, yeah, I already read that it says quote it pains me to inform you that we have lost 20 Christians uh, of the Benade Kanemia camp and our evangelist so Sobu Mundik is one of them their bodies are lying all over and the houses have been burnt by the ADF rebels so do arrived last week for uh, from Benny to search for food for his family. Little did he know that he was coming that he was coming to be killed. We have also confirmed that other people are missing and we know that they have been taken away by the Muslim fighters, unquote. Yeah, that's, that's just what Muslims do best. That's what these Ishmaelite Mohammedans are good at. Pretty much. It says so Sobu and his family were displaced in the same area on May 28, 2022, after the ADF militia raided the Christian village in Vaidu, killing 16 people and torching 10 houses. They went to live in Beni Town as internally displaced people, where the ICC team, uh, team sorry team met him in June. He was depending on well wishers for his family's upkeep, and so he thought that he was going to a rich to the rich farming area of Kanama. Kanama again, probably not saying that right, but. And coming back with food, uh, with, with, with food would save his 13-member family. This time, he did not make it. The ADF Islamist militant group has continued to stage attacks on Christians in Eastern Democratic Republic of the Congo, ceaselessly uh, uh, leaving behind a trail of unfathom unfathomable losses, from killing innocent Congolese believers to destroying shelters, food stores, hospitals, and vehicles. Their aim is to impose Islamic rule on the Christians, and this they will do by violating the freedom of worship of believers in order to cause fear and recruit more people to Islam. After Sobu survived the attack, uh, he disclosed, I heard them, they were shouting Arabic and Swahili, and saying the Kafirs, non-believers, should be killed, all of them, and make the Congo an Islamic state, shoot all of them, kill all of them, burn all their houses, these notorious Christians. That right there is the fruit of Islam for you. And again, perfectly in line with what the Quranic commands to slay the unbelievers. And perfectly in line with how Ishmael was described in Genesis chapter 16, verse 12, wild men. What is this? What are these Muslims? Wild men. What is Islam? The spirituality of wild men. The spirituality of Ishmael. This right here is the murderous, bloodthirsty fruit of the Ishmaelite barbaric, you know, wild cult of Islam. Turns civilized men into savages. That's the truth about Islam. Islam is obviously Luciferian, Islam is barbaric, Islam is Ishmaelite, and Islam is the religion of wild men. Stuff like this proves that. So, more proof of the uh, fact of Islam not being a religion of peace, contradicting the media narrative of pro-Islam and Islam is a religion of peace, and these people just don't understand Islam. No, you read their demonic, you know, false, idolatrous Quran, tells them to do exactly that. So anyway, don't be deceived. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with, be with all the brethren and pray for the brethren who are facing these attacks by these barbaric Ishmaelites. 
uh, these barbaric spiritual descendants of Ishmael. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye.